Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a short little video. Um, we're gonna do a little Poundland trip in a minute down Dover, but I wanted to show you something. I'm gonna flip the camera around because it's not something that I remember seeing in the last six weeks. I know. It's raining. It's raining. Not a lot, but it's raining. Spitting, but yeah. I know. What's rain? <laughs> it's like we've never seen bloody rain before. Uh, yeah, we have not had rain down here, this part of the country, for at least five to six weeks. Everything is dead everywhere. Most of the people look dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, we are going to flip off over to Poundland in a minute, to do that. Maybe try a charity shop, that charity shop that I tried, the YMCA. Um, and I may be looking CX, not sure yet. Anyway, let's stop waffling. I've got some still books to ship. I've got a bag down here with a load of a load more of Shape of Water still books to ship. I'm waiting on my Tomb Raider still books for the group buys. For some reason, HMV haven't delivered them yet, although they say they're in transit. So let's stop waffling. I'll see you down at Poundland, where Blu ray dreams come true. Oh, I should copyright that. Okay, so I think it's time to check out Poundland and have a look, see if they've got any blue rays. Okay, so here we are in Poundland. It does look like they've got some new blue rays in, so let's have a flip through. So what have we got? We've got Carlos, I thought that said Cold Jackal, Carlos the Jackal. Oh, Central Intelligence, oh, that's a, definitely a new one. Kick-Ass, yeah, I've seen that one before. Constant Gardener, okay. Tristrian and whatever. Uh, I am Bolt. That's not the animated one, is it? Fright Night? Oh, this must be a remake, is it? Pitch Black. Oh, lovely. Fantastic film. Uh, don't know about that. Manny. Mm, not sure on that one. Uh, Taken 2. Extended. I don't know what that is. Uh, what have we got here? The Forsaken. That looks good. Yeah, so quite a few new ones. We've got Hot Fuzz. Definitely maybe. A status quo there. Oh, status quo. Hello, quo. Wow. Okay, so we're going to pop in a little wine and see how you here. You have a look, see if they've uh, got any new Blu rays and DVDs in. Okay, well, they don't seem to have any Blu rays in here yet again, but. Uh, there's a little Stargate Atlantis collection of DVDs here, but uh, it's partly only one season, so I don't think I would bother with that anyway. But um, let's have a look over here with all the... We've got all the books here and the DVDs. That is quite high shelf, that, so I can see Flight there. And let's have a look on the next shelf. So what have we got here? Oh, Leverage. I remember seeing that. It's a complete second season. That's a good show, Leverage. Uh, taxi. A lot of these are very generic, as usual. Midnight Tango. Not seen anything in that interesting. Uh, the Core. That's a good film. I like that. Good disaster film. Oh, the Golden Compass with a slip. So that's the that's the DVD version. But that's a really nice slip as well. Good condition. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, we got a couple of oh, LA Confidential. And it's got one of the snapper cases, one of the old original snapper cases. Only Fools and Horses there. Uh, Valkyrie. And the Matrix also with the snapper case as well. Uh, which I've got, I think I've got this one on with my snapper case. Used to buy a lot, quite a few of them back in the, back in the day. Uh, but no, it's not really that much else to be perfectly honest. As I say, there's a lot of generic stuff in here. Born Legacy, The Kingdom. 
Uh, Rambo, a couple of Rambos. What's that Rambo? Rambo trilogy, DVD trilogy. Yeah, no, not that much really. There's another little shelf here, so let's just have a look through, see what we've got here. Most of these are 99p. Uh, we got uh, Entourage. There's a couple of seasons of Entourage there on DVD. Miss Potter. Uh, not exactly brilliant condition. Uh, Happy Feet there, Robin Hood, Blade. Yeah, so pretty generic stuff. Pretty generic stuff, so nothing interesting to be perfectly honest. Okay, so just got back from Poundland and the charity shop. I did pop in CEX, um, but there wasn't anything in there. It's the same stuff they had in there for the last God knows how many weeks. Although they did still have that Skyfall Steelbook which I believe was about £10, I think it was, or maybe £14, about two weeks ago. It's four quid now, uh, and it still looks pretty good condition. So, um, obviously, nobody's dropped it for it to price to drop down that much. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you're in the Dover area, pop into there, into CEX, if you want to pick up a clean-looking Skyfall Steelbook. I can't say what the discs are like, but you might be able to get a cheap Steelbook there. Just come out of Costa and got my lovely cappuccino with um, coconut. Although I'm getting into almond now. Uh, a nice Alpro almond yogurt on my Weetabix in the morning. This is lovely. Anyway, so I uh, did pick up a little stash from Poundland, uh, which they had a new delivery, and it's the first delivery I've seen in a while in Dover. I know the last time I popped in here a couple of days ago, there was zilch. So I think they might have sold a few, so maybe I missed an opportunity a couple of days ago. My mate Lewis phoned me this morning uh, to let me know that over Westwood Cross they'd have a, deli delivery, a, 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 a delivery in as well. So not too many, but similar type of titles, you know, Taken 2 and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, let me just go through the four titles that I picked up. Uh, the first one I picked up is Central Intelligence with uh, Kevin Hart and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That also comes with a digital copy as well. That's pretty good. Extended and original versions. Uh, now, I don't know too much about this film. I didn't see it in the cinemas. Uh, obviously, it's a comedy. Um, and I picked up the other one with Kevin Hart a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember what it was. Was it Kevin Hart and Ice Cube? Oh, I forgot what the title's called now. Right, ride Along. Ride Along. So I'm, I presume it's a similar type of thing. But yeah, well, I'm in a kind of like Dwayne Johnson mood at the moment. Uh, what with having seen Skyscraper last week. Uh, and I'm getting in the mood to watch in Welcome to the Jungle. Welcome to the Jungle. Du, 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 du. Uh, because I haven't seen the new Jumanji one. And I'm looking forward to seeing that so much. So I'll be hopefully seeing that this weekend. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. That will go in the Poundland bin. So it might be a little while before we watch it. But at least I've got something new. And there's quite a few special features on here as well. So that's pretty good. Fantastic. Uh, the next one I picked up also is a film I don't know too much about, although I have heard of it before. It's called The Constant Gardener. Now, I don't normally buy movies about gardening. And I presume it's not a film about gardening. <laughs> uh, but it's got Rachel Weisz and R Ralph Fiennes. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Ralph Fiennes, Rachel Weisz. Oh, I sounded half German then, didn't I? <laughs> But uh, yeah, looks good on the cover there. Looks very good. I have no idea what the story is about. Although I did kind of catch something on here about a diplomat and a wife's murder uncovers a treacherous conspiracy or something. So that does sound intriguing. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to seeing that. Um, next one I picked up is... A film with an impressive cast, uh, and I mainly picked it up for Anton Yelchin, who I really miss. 
um, because he was absolutely fantastic in Star Trek as Chekhov. Uh, and I'm starting to get into some of his other work now as well. And also Cal Colin Farrell. And it's Fright Night. And I don't know how this was received. Uh, because I do remember there was a Fright Night, I think, back in the 80s. But I think this is... Oh, bloody hell, I've just noticed something. David Tennant. I had no idea David Tennant was on the cover of that. Oh, so that's going to be really interesting then. Yeah, I don't know about this. Uh, it says brilliant, smart, funny and ridiculously enjoyable. So I take it it's not really a horror film. It's more of a comedy horror film. But tongue-in-cheek type of thing. I mean, if you've seen it, let, let me know in the comments. But uh, it does look interesting. But as I say, I picked it up mainly for Anton Yelchin. But what with David Tennant in it, that's going to be interesting. Fantastic. And my last pickup, I like a good Western. Um, apart from Unforgiven... I've never really been able to get into Unforgiven. First time I watched it, I found it very boring. I don't know, maybe I should give it another try. But I do like my like Kevin Costner, um, <coughs> Kiefer Sutherland, you know, Young Guns and all that type of stuff. Uh, talking of Kiefer Sutherland, I picked up Forsaken, which looked really good on the cover. This has got Kiefer Sutherland, Donald Sutherland, so family reunion... Brian Cox, although I presume that's the actor and not the physicist, because that would be a bit weird. Michael Wincott and Demi Moore. So, don't think it's a new film, because I don't think Denny, De, Denny, Demi Moore has done anything in bleeding ages. But I do like a good western. Look at that. I love those western settings. Fantastic. Uh, and it has got bonus features as well. So, I'm looking forward to watching that. Being in the Western mood as well, what with Westworld. God, that's a good show. I love Westworld. So, yeah, so I'm looking forward to watching that as well. So, that is my four pickups in Poundland today. Four brand new pickups. Four films that I haven't seen and don't know a lot about. So, fantastic. I am very happy with that lot. Talking of... <coughs> Talking of coffin, oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Talking of Poundland, um, my Poundland shopping day is coming up very soon. It's either going to be next week or the week after. Um, we're going to basically hit as many Poundland shops as we can in one day, in one sitting. So I'm going to start out early in the morning. Maybe we'll hit Dover's again in a couple of weeks, next week or two weeks, see if there's any new titles. We'll hit Folkestone. Then I'll head up to Ashford, where there's a big new Poundland in the County Square Shopping Centre. Um, I've never been in that one, so I don't know if they even stock Blu-rays, let alone DVDs. So, And I work in Ashford, but I don't go into the town. So we'll check that one out. Then we'll be popping up to Maidstone, <laughs> that way, Maidstone, and there is two Poundlands in Maidstone, one in the Mall, which used to be called the Checker Centre, and one up the top of the town, uh, which I've been to before, which has Blu-rays. I'm not sure about the one in the Mall, so we'll check both of them out. So how many is that? That's two, three, four... Five, I think it's about five pound land so far. Then, while we're at Maidstone, I hope to pick up Lulu and then we shall shifty on up to somewhere like Gillingham. Uh, there's a pound land up there, plus, we also want to go back to that huge pound land store at Pound Land and More. Which, if you have a look at the video up the top there, you know, the long bar that comes across. And click on that, then you can watch the video of me and Lulu going around that Poundland and more store. They had, at the time, they had shitloads of DVDs. Absolutely tons of DVDs. But they at the time, they ne I don't think they had hardly any Blu-rays. But this is way back. This is like last year, maybe a year or a year and a half ago. Before they had the Music Magpie contract with Poundland. So, hopefully... They've got stacks of Blu-rays. 
we can only hope. So yeah, so we're talking about anywhere between like seven to ten pound land stores. Uh, and maybe we'll find a couple of more pound store pound land stores on the way, as as well as maybe stopping in a pub or something and having a nice gr pub grub meal. Uh, and maybe stopping in a toy shop as well because there's a toy shop in Ashford called The Entertainer, which I've never been in in Ashford before. We've been in the one in Blue Water. Uh, plus, we're actually getting The Entertainer toy shop in Dover, down at St James Complex. So it's going to be the first proper toy shop in Dover, probably for about f 10 years. Because we had a Gamleys. Uh, it wasn't a big one, but um, I remember going in it a few times. They never had the whole range of Star Wars and Transformers and all that kind of stuff. So I'm looking forward to us finally getting a proper toy store. So that will be really good. Uh, we're also getting another store down in St James, uh, a Burger King. But I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> anyway, so... That's my pickups today. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You had to hear that. Tonight, live chat, 7 pm. If you can make it, it'll be fantastic. If you can't, there'll be a playback afterwards, after the live stream's ended. It'll be uploaded so you can watch the playback and enjoy it as well. But I hope. Some of you can pop along and have a chat about all sorts of shenanigans. Um, what else is there? Oh, this is a bit of interesting stuff. Five weeks ago, I picked up a scratch card. Two pound scratch card. And I won on it. 300,000 pound. No, <laughs> just pissy with you. No, but I did pick up a scratch card. Uh, and I did win on it, so I thought, I'll take the scratch card back into the shop, get another scratch card. For five weeks, I've been scratching off scratch cards. No joke. The money keeps going like, you know, I win twice on one, or I end up getting five quid, so I end up getting then like two more scratch cards. I then end up winning on those. Five weeks, I've been scratching off probably close to 50 scratch cards and I haven't spent a penny on them because I've just cashed them in and used other ones. Yesterday I scratched one off because um, I had about four scratch cards and scratched one off, I scratched two off and I got 15 quid out of it. So I bought, what did I buy? Four, five, six, seven, eight scratch cards. <laughs> I think it was eight scratch cards with the money I got. So that was 15 quid. Um, and then I've won on that lot again. And now I've got 17 quid. So in a minute I'm going up to Tesco's, cash that lot in, get another load of scratch cards. Because one of these days I'm just going to scratch it off. And I'm going to get the 300,000. <laughs> it's a load of fun. I know I shouldn't gamble. It's bad for you. It's bad for your health. But it's just a load of fun. I'm not spending any money on them. I'm just using the scratch cards and cashing them in and getting new ones. But um, if I end up getting nothing and shit all, then I haven't lost anything. But it's a bit of fun to see what I get. You never know, I might actually get lucky on one of them. At least maybe a couple of hundred or something. Who knows? Um, there was a chap on Sky News, I think, last week, or a couple, who scratched off a card. And I think they got a million quid. Bastards. Good luck to them. That's what I say. So anyway, look, limited edition, even bigger prizes. Fantastic. So that's my scratch card shenanigans as well. I'm going to go now because I'm going to pop up to Tesco's, get some munchies uh, for the live chat tonight, and maybe a cold drink. Uh, and I need to charge my iPad up because otherwise we ain't going to be able to have a live chat because I won't have anything to play it back on. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little trip down to Poundland and me waffling aimlessly about all sorts of shenanigans. Shenanigans, I seem to be using that word quite a bit. Anyway, no, also, before I go, 
No, I'm not going to tell you. Um, I'll do a separate video for it because I need your help on something. Uh, it's going to be quite interesting, but I need your help on something. It's going to be like, do you remember when we did Name the Porg? Yeah, it's going to be like that. But I'll do a short little um, video for that and then you can find out what it's all about. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Maybe I'll chat to some of you tonight on the live chat. And um, I'll see you all on the next, the next uh, video. Bye.